Welcome to day three of my five days of painting series. I am on Christmas holidays from work and I decided to do just kind of a vacation vlog and painting thing because I haven't painted in a long time. It's been like since November uh, before this week, of course. And so for the five days of this week that I'm off, I want to paint and doing a little art vlog. Right now I'm just having some breakfast. I have an English muffin and peanut butter and an orange juice and I have this every single day. It's my favorite and I love it because I don't have to think about it. It's not a lot of food. It's not hard to prepare. I just put it together and yeah, it's my breakfast. Uh, yesterday I was able to get into the candle if you watched. I think I put this in the last video. I talked about this candle that my sister got me for Christmas and it has a charmed inside, charmed aroma. And so you usually get like a ring or a necklace or something. And so I got a really pretty bracelet. So when the candle burns down, you can pick the jewel out of it. So I got this really pretty bracelet. I love it so much. And then it has these little dangly parts when you pinch the bracelet more closed. It has like this kind of little dangle. It's so pretty. Yeah, so I'm really excited and I've wanted a chain bracelet for a while. So I am I was excited to get this. She did good, that was a good gift. I did a little sketching this morning. I did a Blue Jay. I used uh, some of my new Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. Uh, I featured these in yesterday's vlog. I used the two blues, uh, the colors, Ultramarine and Sky Blue. I like the way that it actually gave kind of the shading and the highlights and it was monochromatic. I thought it was fun for sketching. I really enjoyed that. And I'm going to add some white highlights here soon. I was looking at some YouTube videos last night, trying to research these markers and find out what I could do with them uh, because I bought like six or seven. And I think I have a black downstairs. I'm going to go check shortly. Um, I find that I, a lot of people were coloring with them. They don't blend very well though. I guess they're India ink based. And something like Copic that blends really good is um, alcohol based. Um, you can, while these markers are wet, you can blend them with your finger or blur them a bit, but they definitely don't bleed into each other like you would think. So I think they're probably gonna be best for sketching. While I eat my breakfast, I'm watching Bailey J's vlog. Uh, she posts a video every week. Uh, another artist on YouTube, if you haven't watched her channel, check her out, I'll put a link below. I really like Bailey's channel. And she's a fellow Canadian. Here's another sketch of a nuthatch that I did. He's in the winter, so he's all fluffy. And I really like these markers for sketching. I need to add some white highlights. There's actually a Pitt Artist Pen that's white, and I'm contemplating going back to the art store today to pick it up so I can finish these two, or I might try a colored pencil as well for highlights. I really, really love these colors. They look super classic and vintage, just something about that combination I really like. This is one of my favorite drawings I've done, uh, well, in my sketchbook. Uh, it's from Cats with Jobs, and this little cat in this little safety vest I think is so cute. And I like the highlights and the colors within it to make it look like a black cat. I just really like how that turned out. So I'm gonna go to the art store, I'm gonna go get dressed, um, or get ready, and I'm gonna wear my new airplane mode shirt that my sister got me for Christmas. I love airplanes and any commercial aircraft are, are fascinating to me, so this was very appropriate for me. So yeah, let's go, let's go get ready. So I'm back from the art store. That was really fun. I spent about $50, just under $50. So I picked up more Pitt Artist Pens. I don't know. I'm probably going to use these once and then never use them. It's not going to be, it's not going to be a regular thing for me. It's probably maybe a one-off. The reason I did go back to the art store though, as I mentioned, I wanted to get the white markers. I've seen these a couple times and I keep forgetting about them. And I normally use Posca pens or 
like the white gel pens and they just never work that great. I have some acrylic wash that's white, but it's such a pain to pull it out and I have different brushes for my acrylic wash. So I have to set up water and different water, different brushes than my watercolor. So I'm excited to try these pens. So there was four sizes at the art store. The only one I didn't buy was the calligraphy nib. It was like a chiseled edge and I'm not gonna use that. I did get this mega huge big one. This one's ginormous. Look at the size of the nib. This one's 1.5 and this one is basically a brush nib. It's like all the other pens that I bought. So I'm anxious to try these. I'm gonna try these on the sketches that I did this morning. I also picked up a few more colors because I am going to, I think I'm going to do a woodpecker today. So I really want to do all the birds that have come to our feeder lately. So I was thinking about shading white and what colors I would want. I picked these warm pinkish colors to shade uh, the white with. Uh, this one is pale pink, beige red. And then I got some woodpeckery looking colors. Uh, this red one actually is pale geranium lake, green gold, and then some darker ones that are really nice. This one, dark indigo, is it's a lot like the Lamy ink I have, and I, it looks really pretty. Uh, this one is a black, but it's a fude nib in medium, so it holds like it holds kind of a it holds a fine tip. It does really light line work, and you can push on it and make broader strokes. So this seemed interesting. I did get some more things. Let's take a look at those. So I keep a list on my phone of all the colored pencils that I have. These are polychromos made by Faber-Castell. Meganese Violet, Purple Violet, and Indenthrin Blue. Indenthrin Blue. So it's kind of like a purpley blue. Sabrina, what are you doing? Why are you in this box? You're not supposed to be in there. today's sketch or painting in my Tone Tan Strathmore Spiral Bound Journal. I don't really use this a lot. I use it mostly when I use colored pencils. I want to use a combination of the Pit Artist pens, maybe some colored pencils. Really want to see how the white Pit Artist pens work on this paper. This is one uh, drawing I did before. This is the only drawing I have in here. Uh, this is a blend of Copic markers, Posca, and line art. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do a bird in this in this uh, way. excited with how this is turning out. I can't believe it actually looks this great. I am so excited. So I'm done my drawing for today. I'm really excited with how it turned out. I kind of wish I had a knot done the log as detailed or try to put as much into it. I feel like it detracts from the bird. I mean, the bird itself I think turned out really good. The log, meh, I didn't have the colors that I needed for it and I'm just gonna leave it. I, I don't really care at this point, but I'm happy with the bird and that was the main part of it. And I really enjoyed working with these markers. I would probably do this again. I love the white, the white um, is really nice because you can lay it down over top of the markers and it'll go like sort of uh, transparent but you can layer it and make it more solid more white so I mean a few layers it would take but yeah really I love these markers the best thing about them is that they're consistent so you're not getting skipping lines or blobs of ink or acrylic dropping on your art like with Posca's that do that to me all the time 
So I'm super happy with this. I love the white on the toned tan paper. It's so, so fun. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'll have a video tomorrow for day four. I can't believe we're already at day four and that'll be for my uh, five days of painting. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.